be one way for the Royals to get the offense going would be to get the running game going. Escobar after the first pitch the wind is blowing out and the Royals lead one nothing. And you would think we we're in Kansas City with the roar of the crowd. Escobar ambushes Arietta. First pitch. We talked about the win. Today is going to be a good home run day for both clubs, but we've seen Escobar do it before this year. One first pitch right down the middle, 94. One nothing. Compact stroke, caught the back underside. That'll be the key to get it up in that win. Now, second time through the order, he's struck out a pair of Royals. He's going more to his secondary pitches now. He's starting to mix them in. That's hit to left field. Three home runs for the Royals. Escobar, Gordon, and now Salvador Perez. And of course for Perez, his home run comes with two outs. That's when he's most dangerous. You go to that well one too many times in there to a great low ball hitter. This is what can happen. That's that slow ball and he read it. It was down and he's a great low ball hitter. Just got the back under side of that baseball. And with that overhand spin and you catch the back under, that ball jumps. Salvi knew it on contact. Drives it deep to right. Ryan Braun at the track at the wall. And that ball is gone. A home run. Ender Inciarte. His second of the year. And it's 2-1 Diamondbacks. Well, the leadoff guys. Drives it deep to right center field. Peralta mashes it, and that one is way out of here. David Peralta, his fifth, and it's 3-1 Diamondbacks. That was crushed. Well, Bob, you said it. If you want to get to Jimmy Nelson.